You know, um, I was at the gym just a week ago um, in Stellenbosch, me and my friend Alvain, and he in introduced me to one of the guys that worked there. And uh, Alvain shared the, uh, you know, the heart of God with this guy before. Um, he just shared the love of Jesus with him as well. But then I came along and then Alvain said, hey, you got to hear this guy's testimony. So I told him what Jesus did in my life, how I tried to commit suicide and how then I, um, Jesus revealed himself to me and how I gave my life to him. And uh, we just had a great chat in the gym and the guy there and then decided to get baptized so I, I had the privilege to baptize him and i know for a fact that it wasn't because i shared my testimony only and because i would did something great or amazing but because the bible is true you know in first corinthians chapter 3 um paul says i planted apollo's water but god gave the increase verse 6 there's a way where we share the gospel like alvin did he planted seeds <laughs> And then I came and I watered those seeds and then God gave the increase. And I'm not saying that we did all of this. I am so sure that there was a, either a mother that prayed, there was a friend that shared the gospel, there was a church member, there was any, something happened in, in this life of this person where some sowed a seed, some gave water to that seed, and then, and then God gave the increase. And because of seed that was sown and people that kept on watering the seed, there was a person that decided to fully give their life to Jesus. And it's it's beautiful to see because we I know that I shouldn't ever stop watering seeds. I never know what seeds has been sown, but I know that I should never stop watering seeds and neither should you. Keep on sharing the love of Jesus with the world out there.